Today we're going to show you how to replace the pistons in the shoebox compressor. The reason why you might want to do this is because we're currently offering an upgrade set of pistons, the new hardened tool steel pistons, and this would be one of the only reasons why you'd want to take your pistons out and replace them. In general it's a bad idea to mess with the pistons because the alignment is very precise and any misalignment of the pistons will cause your compressor either to function poorly or not pressurize at all. And this is an extremely hard problem to diagnose over the phone. You'll end up uh, sending the compressor in to have it fixed. If you follow these instructions carefully though, you should be able to do this without a problem. So tools for this, we're going to need uh, appropriate Allen wrench. We're going to need another Allen wrench that's long and skinny. We're going to use this as a, an indicator. And then you're going to need wrenches to take off the air fittings. So first of all, to get started, you want to make sure that you disconnect the electricity, disconnect the air, and drain all the air out of the system. We always want to be safe before we work on the compressor. So first step is we're going to take off the adjustment spring up here. Just unhook it from the top, and then we can set that aside. Next, we're going to take our Allen wrench, and we're going to unscrew the spring collar here on the end of the shaft. We're going to take that off and put that aside. Next we're going to come over here to the left and I'm going to unscrew the air lines. I've already loosened these uh, for brevity. So you can pull them out and then bend them back a little bit and get them out of the way. Okay. Now notice that uh, the release arm moves back and forth here and that you can move the crank arm around by hand. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the bottom piston. We're going to do that by unscrewing the two set screws. Now, uh, with the normal pistons in here, they may have a hard time coming out. If you can't get them out, they don't come out easily, then uh, call us at the factory and we will figure out a way to get that done for you. You might have to send them in. So in this case we're using hardened pistons, they come out. Here's the lower one, set that aside. Now we're going to come up here, we're going to move the release arm to the right, to give us access to the set screws. We're going to unscrew the top set screws. And now we're going to slide this piston out. Okay, so there you go. Both pistons are out, so now we're going to go through the uh, replacement procedure. Move your shaft block up into position. Now we're looking for the end of the piston that's nicely radiused and very smooth. The other end of the piston has got a little sharp corner on it and it's not very smooth. We want the smooth end to go into the cylinder. So smooth end first. Rock our shaft block up here, get that aligned, slide it in, and bring it most of the way into the cylinder. Okay, now comes the critical alignment part. You must follow these steps carefully. First, we're going to rotate the crankshaft till it's horizontal in this position. Next, we want to pull our arm all the way to the right. Now we're going to get our long skinny Allen wrench and we're going to stick it in the high pressure fitting here on the left. And notice how far down it goes in. It goes in at least that far. See that? If it doesn't go in that far, that means you don't have a skinny enough Allen wrench and it's just hitting the fitting. You want this to go in far enough that it's hitting the back of the back check valve. So you've got Allen wrench, back check valve, and now we're going to push the piston in until it contacts the back check valve and pushes it. When it pushes the back check valve, you'll see this Allen wrench move. I'm going to put my finger on here and you see as we push the piston in this way, this moves out. Same thing, if we push this in, the piston will come out here. See the piston? Try it again. Left, right. So what we want to do is we want to push the piston to the left, this way, and then using your narrow Allen wrench, we want to push the back check all the way up until it stops. Now we know that the piston is, is dead against 
right perfectly aligned with the back check valve. So now we want to move our release arm to the right and we want to carefully, without moving anything, go in and tighten up the set screw. And tighten the second set screw and you want to tighten these pretty good. Okay, now we're going to leave that for a moment. We're going to take our collar and we're going to look for the little hole where the end of the spring goes in. That goes out. We're going to set this on the right hand side here and we're going to stick it about in the middle and give it a little space on either side. You don't have to tighten that too tight. It doesn't take much to hold a spring. We're going to replace our spring now. So again, we want the hook here to come down, which means we want this hook to go in this way. And hook that through the hole and bring the other end and hook it into the hole. Okay, now we're going to check to make sure that we've got good alignment by holding our little skinny Allen wrench and moving the crankshaft back and forth and we should not feel that that uh, narrow Allen wrench on the left side here move at all. So we're looking good. Okay, now let's uh, do the lower piston. It's a duplicate of the same process. First of all we look to find the nicely rounded end. That's this one, you can feel it. So that goes in first. Again, through the shaft block into the cylinder. All the way in till we hit the back check. We're now going to use our Allen wrench. We're going to push it to the left and then push it to the right. So we know we're stopped up against there. And we're going to rotate the crankshaft into position. Since we have the spring on, our release arm is already all the way to the right this time. And we're going to tighten up our set screws. Okay, set screws are tight. Again, now we're going to do a check to make sure that we're not opening that back check. We're looking good. Okay, from there, we screw our uh, fittings back on. I'll just do this for looks. And there you have it. You've just upgraded your shoebox to the new hardened pistons.